Hey guys, guys, I'm Luca, aka Spice. And I'm Cooper, aka Sugar. And, and we're, we're the, the Coil, Coil Twins, Twins, aka Sugar and Spice. Spice. Oh my god, you sounded so monotone. <laughs> Sugar and Spice. Hey, what? Also, we're on different sides today. This is not right. Oh, but... do we normally have a side? Yeah, normally that's my better side, but whatever. <laughs> but this is my better side, so why am I always on that side? Because I always get my way. <laughs> Well, regardless, today we are changing it up because normally your boys are going from your favorite boy to your favorite toy, but today we're going to be giving you more feline, more feminine, more ferociousness, giving you a female illusion. We're going to be going from cartoons to supermodels, real uh, girls, I don't know, I kind of hate like boy, girl anyway. It's, it's like, like what, what even, even is that? Is that? Ooh, said that at the same time. Yeah, okay. we're just gonna go from your favorite boys to your femme fatales. Like, that's probably our most commented thing on TikTok. Do you think when you look like a real girl, all this stuff, and I think it's because they're like 10 years old and they only know like James Charles and like putting on makeup and a wig. Like yeah. they don't get like the whole drag part of it all. You know, people always clock us, they're like, you gotta switch up like the Bratz cartoon shtick. And I mean, that's why we're gonna do this to kind of shake the girls and be like, yeah, we can do it all. <laughs> Versatile legends over here. But they literally try to clock and they're like, oh my god. And I'm like, sweetie, it's called having a brand. Get yourself one and then we can talk. <laughs> well, um, yeah, this should be interesting and mm -hmm. fun. Definitely subscribe if you're new. Follow us on social media. Y'all know the drill. And cue in the music, bitch. Yeah, that. Uh, 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 oh, it's the Coil Twins show. Hey! Okay guys, so before we get into our makeup, we have to shave this beard, of course, and luckily, Harry's... Oh! <laughs> Flip it around. <laughs> there we are. Harry sent us over their shaving kit, and it's insanely good value for only $2 refills. Yeah, and that's great for us because we're always shaving. We're going through so many different blades, and this is so affordable. So the starter kit includes a weighted handle with textured rubber grip, a five-blade razor cartridge, a foaming shave gel, and a travel cover to protect your blades when you're on the move. Harry's is always a guaranteed close and comfortable shave. There was a study done where guys, after their eighth shave, it was just as smooth and clean as the first. Another reason to buy from Harry's is that they support amazing causes. They're currently donating $1 million to hospitals across the U.S., so we stand. Also, y'all know we're always balling on a budget. Their newest, always. sharpest blades are as low as $2, so you can't beat that. So if you guys want to join the 10 million people that use Harry's Shave, go to harrys.com and redeem your trial set right now for just... Three dollars. What is this headband? Guys, sometimes I don't feel like wearing a wig cap because it really, it just like really is tight. So I just wear this nude headband and my hair is looking crazy. But like we say with drag, it brings you down to a two before you get back up to a ten by the end of the makeup. Well, we can hope we can get up to a ten. <laughs> I am kind of giving Donald Trump with this Cheeto. We just applied our little orange color corrector moment to cover up this beard because you know, that's the key. I mean, is this even a tutorial? I don't even know. If you're trying to take advice from us, I was like the blind leading the blind, like we always say. <laughs> But, you know, you gotta cover up and cancel out the blue tones with orange for the beard. You know, because math, color schemes, something like that. It's science. It's like, what do you do for a living? I'm a scientist. So we normally shy away from this type of makeup just because I typically find it very boring and kind of limiting because there's so many rules and you have to paint so soft. But I guess to the general public, it's very palatable, so it works in that sense, especially to an audience that isn't familiar with drag because I think there's some people that think the best drag queen is the one that passes as a woman the most when that's not the case at all, especially with our drag, so. I mean, that's why we did these on TikTok. A lot of people were commenting like, OMG, you're so much better at makeup now. Like, you're getting so good. And it's like, no. Like, they don't, like, understand. And it's fine. They want women, not artists. <laughs> so probably one of our most asked questions on TikTok is, oh my god, do a natural look. And this wasn't even natural enough for them. I'm like, what do y'all want? But then I realized, I'm like, oh no, they want us to do like a James Charles makeup look where we don't put a wig on and we just do like a beauty boy face. And that and is just... use our natural eyebrows. <laughs> that is not my tea. You will never see me ever using my natural eyebrows. I don't know how other queens do that. I mean, I bow down to thee. It's just not going to work well, for me. Well, for me, just doing like, I guess a quote unquote, like normal makeup look, beauty boy, if you will it's just not enough of a transformation for me like we're just such queens at heart like i would never just be able to be like a james charles or a manny emmy way or one of like uh you know the makeup they do because i'm i like to do the full throttle you know it's all or nothing over here i'm like where's my wig where's my mini skirt where's my hooker heels i need it all 
is it bad that once I set these brows in place with some powder, I feel like I can take on the world, my makeup is completely done, because once the brows are on, it's over for you hoes. So a trick I do is after I add the Cody Airspun powder, I always look really ghostly, so I have to add in color, you know? This is what we call like skin toning it up, that's like our little code word. Ooh, so look at you being a beauty guru. That's me. I literally use like a MAC Pro Finish, like their full coverage powder. And then you just kind of go over your foundation because the Cody Airspun wears that. It makes you literally turn into like a ghost and it kind of smells like a grandma in a summer hot van. So, you know. <laughs> what? I don't know. It has like a elderly kind of scent. I mean, yeah, I can see that. If anyone uses Cody Airspun powder, you'll know. So definitely comment below if you can relate to that smell. But now my fave part is contouring. And I'm a basic ass hoe. I literally use the Hula Bronzer. Because I feel like I was literally in ninth grade watching like 13 year old girls like do their like morning routine for freshman year. And like they always use Hula Bronzer. But the gag was this was like their overall foundation. It's like, girl, I know you just got like your sun kissed summer tan, but why are you applying it all over your face? Like, you look one note. But I was like getting my life. Like, I would come home after school, like, eat my little Torsquitos and bagel bites and like watch these girls like apply makeup. And I'm like, oh, one day I just want to like apply hula bronzer. Meanwhile, and, we were not applying makeup at all. It's like, no. why were we watching them? We just found them entertaining. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I literally like that, like, high school fantasy. Like, I you know what? Like, but we loved watching Promise Tien. Is that how I'm saying it? We love, and, and this other yes. random girl, we loved the transformation of it all. I loved watching someone that maybe had acne or their skin wasn't the best, oh and then God. all of a sudden they turned into a Glamazon at the end. I always thought it was so fascinating. But then again, I always thought, oh, I'm not allowed to do that, but here I am, bitch, what, five years later, six years later, and I'm doing the damn thing. So you're allowed to do anything. Now, when it comes to the nose contour, you know, snatching that honker that beak, if you will, that schnoz. I wouldn't say it's necessarily feminine to snatch a nose. I mean, anyone could have a snatch a nose. It's, I think of it more as like making it as perfect as you can, you know? And you've been through it with your nose struggles. I mean, with the nose, I've done it where I've gone too extreme and it looked like two landing strips, or I've done it like just too harsh. Well, what's your tip? What's your tip? My tip is just really figure out what works for your own nose. We have different noses. I like doing like that more picked up look and You'll see at the end when I, it really all comes together. Oh, I'm falling highlight. over, sorry for the bad camera angles. <laughs> so I'm up to the point of the makeup where I have gum in. And that's when you know, like, I'm getting close to being done, because, like, that's when I do my eyes. So I feel like if I have gum in while I'm doing, like, my eyebrows, I'm just, like, focusing on the gum. You know those bitches that are like, oh, I can walk and chew gum at the same time. It's like, what no, I can't. What are you talking about? But come on, snatch brows. Yeah, I did, like, I drew on some natural hairs to be natural today and not look like I have, like, the tattoo on brows, like, the nurse in my elementary school in first grade. Like, that was always, like, the big controversy. Like, oh, my God, I think she has tattoo on brows. And the dead oh, giveaway was the fact God. that they were, like, always kind of red and she had blonde hair. I don't think they were tattooed on. I think they were just filled in with a Sharpie. Or that. So here's my little trick when you're trying to get a winged out cat eye. Do, I mean, it's kind of like the oldest trick in the book. Everyone knows it. Is doing the little cardboard cutout and then using the black eye Cardboard cutout. Whatever it is. But for me, I'm really fascinated with almond eyes. And I just feel like they're so interesting. Because people that have almond eyes, like, y'all are so blessed. Shout out to you. Shout out to mommy and daddy that gave you those genes. I don't. So we try to create an elongated eye, a cat eye. Almonds, we love almonds. Yeah, we really do, but the Kardashians have them. They're just, oh, people with almond eyes, they kind of always look good no matter what. It's like this weird thing. People are always so worried about their eye color. It's like, no, just worry about your you eye want, shape. You want that eye shape, you want that. I'm almost done. I have to add on the lip, but this is my favorite part of doing the bottom mascara. Now, normally for our normal, why am I always saying normal? For our typical brat style sugar and spice beat, we always draw on the bottom lashes, but you know, when you're being a natural person, girl, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, you got to use your natural eyelashes. So this is always kind of fun. And yes, we use the cheap pink mascara that every 7th grade girl wears from CVS, but you know, I feel like 
Mascara is the one product that is literally the same no matter the price point, you know? So when it comes to drag, regardless if it's natural or not, I'm all about making those eyes pop in, making them bigger, making them burst. Do you have an obsession with big eyes? Yeah. <laughs> so even though I am elongating it with the wing and the smoke, if you will, I still got to add the white and the waterline. So now it's time for highlight, and I feel like you can never go wrong with too much highlight, even if it's natural. It's like, what's too much highlight, you know? <laughs> what do we use, sir? What is it called? The Maybelline. Oh my god, it's literally on its last leg. It's a Maybelline Master Chrome highlight, I think. <laughs> but honestly, my real trick of it all is just taking your finger and slapping that shit right on. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, fingers. Ooh, she's a baddie. Guys, overlining the lips really takes it to the next level. I'm trying not to overline lips. I mean, even with our like normal makeup, our iconic sugar and spice beat. I can't. We definitely toned down the lips. In the beginning, it was definitely very potato. And we learned not, not to potato. completely bring it down to our chin. So for this, I'm not really going to overline, but you know, you have to. You got to take some liberties. You have to take some liberties. Okay guys, the sun is setting, but these wigs are sitting. You know, we saw them last night. I was giving you waves. I'm really, you'll see, but I'm trying to go for a Katy Perry a la 2010 Teenage Dream Era red carpet moment. Just put it on, sweetie. Oh wait, let me take the pins out first. Oh. This is so cinematic, just like the sun coming in from the window and then you playing this wig. It's right, a coming of age moment. C-O-N, bitch, I'm fucking Paris. Are these people? I'm confused. Who who's this bitch? Like, Allegedly, who? this is sugar and this is spice in human form, but I'm just seeing two strangers in the camera. Two strange, really peculiar looking Peculiar? Oh, I can't say that word. Women that kind of look like Sims. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so weird to see that like, I keep on looking into the mirror and I'm like, is that me? Because you know, we like to do drag elements with our makeup, mm. so it's so interesting to kind of scale it back. This is palatable beauty, like this is standard beauty that everyone loves, and it's cool It's to very do. easy breezy, beautiful cover girl, very right? commercial, you know. Where's our cover girl contract? Oh my god. <laughs> but I don't know how to feel about it, like it's fun, but it's not me, because I don't know, when I'm- Oh, do you got- oh. Oh. oh god, the lipstick on the teeth. Oh, oh really? You gotta check yourself before you act yourself. Oof, it oh. sucks. Oh, it's on you too. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's down. Yeah. Is this goals? Okay. No. Makeup truly is just an illusion, when, yeah. and when you do certain things to different shapes of your face to create new things, because that gonna, made sense, <laughs> it didn't make sense. But I feel like y'all know what I mean, or you're not. I don't know, but it's just all an illusion. Because at the end of the day, you're we're just still us. us underneath all of this. We're still mess. just little old Luke and Cooper underneath all this. But we got a wig, and all of a sudden, suddenly, mm -hmm. people might think of us as a girl. Well, it's just not natural for us to really be like this. Like I feel like I can't be. I just feel like Regina George or something. <laughs> we're like way too campy and crazy for this, and also. Whenever I'm like this fish, if you will, but really not fish, just more like frozen fish sticks that the soccer mom left in the fridge for Sally and Jenny. Whenever I look like this, I feel like my voice drops 10 octaves or I yes. just realize how deep it actually is. But then when as I'm as me normally dressed as a guy, I feel like I'm sound like a fucking Alvin and the Chipmunks like giving you high fam. So. Allegedly, we have D voices. So let us know down below if you want to see more tutorials. This wasn't really a tutorial. I mean, we could actually do a full-on tutorial listing all the products if y'all really wanted to. I just don't know if people watch tutorials anymore. Like, Do they... people watch them? I don't even know. Maybe they just don't watch them from us. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well definitely follow us on social media. Subscribe. Y'all know the drill. That's a wrap. That's a wrap.